everybody, it's Noelia with My Moxie Dreams. I hope that you are all doing well today. Thanks for joining me for this bonus video. I received this amazing Sierra binder that just got released this spring. And as you know, I have my Aurora. This is not a vintage, this is more of the second generation, I think. I You know that with um, because they're sewn here and the vintage, you could pull, they were stretchy and you could pull it. Um, so I have my Aurora, which I love and adore. And then I just received this Franklin Planner Sierra and Sage, which I absolutely love. I was giddy. I was a hundred million percent giddy when I received her. I have realized that as much as I love the classic size and I do have my classic vintage Aurora where I keep tasks for work, she's not my daily planner. And I am a compact girl through and through. I've mentioned this a million times before. If you watch these videos, I'm so sorry. You probably hate hearing me say it, but I was a classic girl since I was about 19 years old. I worked for Merrill Lynch. They gifted me a classic size open leather binder and I've had that binder for over 25 years. It wasn't until 2007 where I found a compact at a thrift store for 50 cents and I thought, well, what will it hurt to try it? And so I bought it and tried it and fell in love. And so since 2018, I have been using a compact and I love it. My compact planner is my life planner. It is my everyday planner. I take it everywhere. And up until recently, it was my compact Aurora, but I just purchased a Gilio personal wide that houses my compact inserts perfectly with enough space and I love it. So I am currently in my Gilio Personal Wide in gold. I wanted to chat with you about the Sierra and the Aurora and the size differences. If you watched my unboxing, you heard me say this was smaller. It just, it has a different feel. It completely felt tiny compared to my big Aurora that's kind of husky and bulky and mainly because I would call her my chunky monkey because she was my life planner. Everything was inside this planner. And so when I received the Sierra, I just noticed that not necessarily her footprint was smaller. It is, it's certainly smaller. She just felt so tiny compared to my Aurora. So. I immediately thought I was gonna do a comparison of the two. And then one of my followers mentioned, hey, are you gonna do it? And I was like, you're reading my mind, girl. You're reading my mind. Cause that's exactly what I wanted to do because she felt smaller. She felt more dainty and perhaps it's the color and the beautiful bluish kind of green color that made her feel dainty compared to my big husky Aurora. She's kind of empty right now, so she's not as big, but even empty, you can see that her spine is bigger. Now, the difference right off the bat that you will notice is that the Aurora has a, a square backing, a square binding. I've heard through the grapevine that this was kind of the older style, the square and the rounded style now is more the newer style. You'll see me kind of bend her out a little bit. It's cause I like flexibility and I do this to all my binders. And so that's the first thing you'll notice, obviously the roundedness versus the square. I don't remember what the Aurora comes in. I want to say that the rings come in 1.25 inch and I removed those and put one and a half inch. Many of you know that I adore Tanya Plans. I love her. I genuinely think she's amazing. She's the bee's knees. She and I both love to have 1.5 rings in our planners. And so every time we have a planner, we uh, move the rings out and put our 1.5s in. This does look chunkier probably because it is a 1.5 inside. The Sierra comes with a one inch ring, but it's just daintier. I don't know how to explain it. So I'm gonna kind of do side by sides and have you kind of see. Okay, so we're gonna kind of do side by side. I might have to move some of these things around. Now, if I put it on top of it, there is a slight, just slight overlap when it's closed shut. 
No, don't know if you can see that. Okay, where you're gonna really see it is let me open the binder. Okay, so what I've gone ahead and done is do my camera in a wider shot so that you can see the difference when these are laid out and then we'll go back to a closer shot. You can see here that this footprint is significantly smaller when it's opened. Obviously the rings are a difference, right? I put my 1.5 versus the one inch in the Sierra. So you can see where this lines up. You're looking at almost an inch, three quarters of an inch, just a tad um, more than that. So you're looking at almost an inch of width shortage on the Sierra than on the Aurora. You get a bulkier style planner. And this is one of the reasons why I love the Gilio and it doesn't bother me too much. I'm going to take this out really quick and put the Gilio here. The Gilio is very much similar to my Aurora in size. This one is just a quarter of an inch wider than my Aurora. So for me, because I'm used to this big chunky Aurora, the Gilio Personal Wide worked for me because it's only a tad wider, literally a quarter of an inch wider than my Aurora. So a lot of people who are used to smaller footprint, the Personal Wide probably wouldn't work for you because you're used to everything being so flush. I'm not. This is my compact inserts in my Aurora and it's just as chunky and wide as I would like. So we'll get this out because this is just to show you that the Aurora is chunkier, she's wider, she's more substantial. Here you're going to see that almost full inch difference when it's laid open. Okay, and then you can see where the rings, obviously the difference, it's wider on either side compared, if I line this up, you're looking at probably half an inch on each side, wider. So it is a smaller footprint. The other thing you're gonna notice about it, I'm gonna take this out so you can see, is where the placement of the pockets are. These are horizontal for business cards, kind of. Same thing here, but this is a vertical. The zipper on the Aurora is in the back and it leaves a half area so that you can put papers back here, you can put a notepad back here. You have this zipper. The Sierra has just the notepad. It's completely sewn in. I wouldn't put papers back here. This is more for a notepad being slipped in the back. So that is different than the normal layout for the Aurora that I'm used to, this kind of flip secretarial I love that this particular zipper is here. For the Sierra, the zipper is inward on the interior of the binder. So it's a little different in the sense that I'm gonna have trouble putting anything in here just because of how chunky, these are one inch rings. I'm not gonna change these out because I'm probably gonna use this more as a journal. Right now I have my Carreras in there, which they look gorgeous. This planner love bookmark just brings out the blues. I love this planner. Like I can't tell you how adorable it is. So for me, it won't work. I probably will never use this planner as a life planner just because I have too much in my planner. I want to honor the one inch rings. I want to honor the daintiness and the beauty of the size of this and probably use this as a journaling binder. Again, there's some design changes on the interior compared to the Aurora. And even though I don't necessarily like that particular zipper there, I adore this planner. Like I, I, I almost love it as much as I did my Arctic Blue Bella, but I was so, I babied that thing so much, I was afraid to use it. Because this is simulated leather, it feels amazing, but I'm not gonna be afraid to throw it in my purse. I'm not gonna be afraid to kind of use it or markings or stuff on it because it's it's not that leather. I kind of baby my, my Gilio a little bit because of the beautiful gold color. I'm afraid of marking it. I'm not gonna feel that way with this. I didn't feel that way with my Aurora either. My Aurora, you can see that she's kind of got some indents and imprints. She's well-loved. I love this girl. 
And the other difference about this one is that it has a magnetic strap. I love this about the Aurora. You can see that the part that it's supposed to slip into is kind of flattened and that's just because I'm in and out of this binder so much that it just I just put it like that I don't even put it into the slit it's I have to make a really conscious effort to put it into the slit like that so the difference is obviously this particular planner is strapped and there's no magnetic you just slip it into this little strap this is magnetic they both have the two you know, they have the zipper, they're just in different design layout places, the vertical business cards versus the horizontal. You have a slide secretarial here. You have the same here. I like the half because you can see what's there. And again, it's, this is leather. This is simulated leather. So size wise, to answer everybody's question, a comparison to the Aurora, when they're next, when they're on top of each other, there's a slight difference in the layout, but when the, you see the real difference when you open it up, there is clearly almost an inch wider for the Aurora and the Sierra is about an inch shorter. Everything else is kind of the norm, the rounded backing, Simulated leather, beautiful quality. The seams and everything is sewn beautifully, similar to the Aurora. So they feel different. Clearly the leather feels different than the simulated leather, but I'm telling you this it is so soft and lovely. So it's gorgeous. Again, the beauty of these binders, I just, whether it's leather or simulated leather, the, Franklin Planner has been upping their game for their simulated leather, their vegan, their faux leather, whatever you want to call it. It feels amazing and there's no chemical smell. I'm in love with this planner. So my Aurora is my love. She will always be my first love. My Gilio is my new planner that I'm in right now, which is all my compact Franklin Planner inserts are in here. The Sierra, she's smaller, but she's beautiful and I can't wait to use her. So again, you can see the difference when it's laid out. I can tell the difference just because it's a one inch. It's got a smaller footprint. She's just, she's petite. She's dainty and petite compared to my boxy, chunky Aurora. So I hope that helps. So if you have any questions, let me know below. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye.